extreme weather events such as winds and rains bringing more water onto our shores with extreme high tides we're seeing a lot more flooding along the main coastline and in part that's due to sea level rise. Ocean levels have been rising um, over time. In fact, they've risen eight inches over the past 100 years and we can expect them to rise quite a bit more into the future. There are two primary drivers to sea level rise. The first being that our ocean waters are warming. And as ocean water warms, it expands and it takes up more space. The second is that ice on land, the glacial ice, is melting. And as that land ice melts, it's contributing more volume into our world's oceans. Here in Maine, we're experiencing a sea level rise, which is three to four times greater than the global average. And that's reflected with increasingly higher high tides that are exceeding flood stages, as well as increasing impacts of storms that are bringing storm surge and more flooding into the land. As all these properties and land gets increasingly inundated as sea levels rise, it's going to be creating problems and cause destruction and disruptions to our daily lives. As you hear more about sea level rise, it's really important to look at the data and, and see what does that mean for you? What does it mean for your community and the communities that you care about? We have this opportunity with sea level rise to be really proactive. We have the data now, we know it's going to happen, so why wait? Sea level rise is a global problem and we really need to think about what are the local solutions that we're going to have to put in place to best prepare our own communities for resiliency. But as we do that, we can look outwards to see what other communities around the globe have done and we can also share the solutions that we come up with here with others. We're all going to need to work together to best prepare our coastlines for a resilient future as sea levels rise.